You also see that there's other products out there, right? And so you'll see things like, you know, a good example is we've got a lot of clients that are using additional storage for O365. When we see that, we want to get them into, into our tool. Um, and the reason for that is usually we can go in and we can show the actual usage of a product and go in and take a look and see how much storage are they using. Now, a lot of times they're buying it for SharePoint sites and we can show them SharePoint sites that are, you know, eating up terabytes of data or, you know, lots and lots of storage. And, you know, they're not even, uh, they're not even active sites, right? So, you know, because we can go in and take a look and see, okay, what SharePoint sites are in use, how much storage do they have, when was it active, right? So if we kind of look at this from the perspective of when was things active, these, these ones have never been active and they're eating up storage, right? So again, this is just a small account, but we've found terabytes of storage that are in data so we can go and they can kick off a, a cleanup project. We had one client that was spending half a million dollars on additional storage. We went in and we were able to show them, well, you don't need all that. Look at this, you can go clean this up. And they kicked off a project, I think internally it cost them 30 grand and they were able to reduce $400,000 of uh, incremental storage costs.